you would have seen us excitedly leaving our lives in Australia behind and seeing our brand new Leopard 50 for the first time. In this episode, we take you for a walkthrough of Ultra Dash, our brand new Leopard 50 catamaran, unloaded straight off the cargo ship. So slip off your shoes and come aboard. We are in Fort Lauderdale in Florida. And I'm aboard a beautiful Ultra Dash, a new 50 foot leopard that we are taking possession of. And I'm just showing you a few features here. And one of the features is this beautiful upstairs lounge area, which we will use a lot of because it's a beautiful area. <laughs> so these are permanent fixtures so you don't have to bring the cushions in because they're all weatherproof and they're really um, stuck hard onto the back on the headrest so you don't they won't fall off and this is a permanent fixture as well so we don't have to worry about it sliding around so it's very very cool and you know it's been raining a bit getting an ad fit onto this which is solar panels that'll be like a, a bracket that goes right out there and then there's going to be a bunch of solar panels panels over there so it'll also shade the dive platform which will be even better so on this side we're looking for a place to put our hydroponics because we want to be able to grow lettuce, tomato, you know, some veggies and, that, and, and definitely herbs like we did in the French Canal. So we figured this might be a really great spot here. A lot of people put their life raft there so they can just push it off because it's quite heavy. But um, we'll just have to see. I think we'll fit the life raft first and then put the hydroponics around the life raft. Yeah, talk about <laughs> priorities. <laughs> Down here, in this area here, is our yoga area. There's going to be yoga mats that are fitted here so we'll be able to come out here and do yoga and exercise on this top deck. So how cool will that be? Morning yoga with Ellie and John. <laughs> Look how big it is honey. The way you like it isn't it hun? It looks huge beside you. Wow, it's just massive from here. So here we are just in front of the mast and if you just look at the amount of space we've got on these decks, you can see how people put a lot of solar panels on the front decks here. Oh, it's very heavy. Just as well we've got electric winches, honey. <laughs> just as well. My little chicken arms wouldn't be able to lift that. <laughs> You're pretty strong. Apparently I'm the one that's going to be driving this boat. So John's going to be mainly on the ropes. And uh, so that'll make a nice change. It's a beautiful spot, huh? And then of course we have the helm station right here. Good two seats because one of the things that you really want, you really want company when you're sitting in the helm station. You don't want to be doing it by yourself and everybody else is somewhere else having a good time. So you can see how close the helm station is to the upstairs lounge here which means that you never feel out of the conversation or you're not just stuck driving the boat and everyone else is having a good time all the ropes 
which we call sheets. You don't call them ropes when you're a sailor. All the sheets lead back to this helm station here. So, Captain, tell us about your department. <laughs> Okay, this is the steering station and this is, we have been in these before but this is absolutely gorgeous, so footrest so you can sit up here comfortably, lean back, seat for two, 12 inch GPS, weigh marine gear, water helm, on that side by the way. Is electric. Oh, dust powered on. There is only one rope on a ship, and that is the bow rope. So the rope that hangs on the bow is the only bit of rope that's allowed to be called a rope on a boat. Everything else is sheet, sheets, lines, and of course the sheets that you think should be the sails, but they're actually the ropes. The galley is the kind of kitchen. kitchen and the bedrooms are the cabins and you're filming my crush. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These are all labelled nicely so. Good on you, Leopard. We've got Genoa, Man Halyard Reef, Furla, Reef One, Spinnaker and Genoa. Beautiful, they all come back to here. Electric winches on these two majors. I think that's no, that's electric as well. Wow, wow, isn't that incredible? Mm. Three electric Ooh. winches. Not sure that I remembered that, but anyway, to all the bones up. A couple more main sheet traveler. The other thing about the specific, and I just want to fall down the stairs. All of the sheets from these lines come down and drop into space there that is going to have a bag. The bag's not fitted yet, but there is a bag that all the lines go into. So all these sheets are clear and out of the way for when you're working. Yes. How do you get used to this? <laughs> you're going to have to. <laughs> I'm the driver, apparently. I'm, I'm the one that's got to learn how to drive the boat. And John can do all the sheets because... The boring lines and all that. Boring lines because that takes a lot more um, muscle and hard work, so he can be the one jumping on and throwing them and all that sort of thing, because it's been me in the past. <laughs> so I'm going to do a bit of a role reversal, so it's fine. I'm going to be the official driver. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Power to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see whoever it is that's at the steering station at the helm can have good communication with anyone that's in the lounge. So you're not isolated while you're driving, you can still be very social, which is really important. So they're nice and neat and tidy and all electrical winches, which we, I really love. No straining and busting your foo foo trying to crank up winches. So these decks here are fantastic because they're nice and flat and they're wide. So from this angle you might be able to see them a bit better. Nice, flat, wide decks. So nice and safe, less dangerous, um, much easier to scale up and down these areas when you've got to get from one side of the boat to the other. And a couple of trampolines there for relaxing, chilling out and just enjoying. So they will become part of my exercise area. You've got to keep nice and fit on board. And then here we're back to the front cockpit. Again, what I didn't show you before is that on the other side of this here is a day bed. So we've got a mattress the same as this and it goes on this area here and becomes our day bed. And as you can see, it's in the shade, which is one of the things that I looked and looked for when we were looking for a boat, because I wanted a day bed that John and I can hang out together, either read books or whatever it is we're doing, and lie together in the shade, really enjoying um, where we are, probably at a, a nice acreage somewhere. 
So yeah, I didn't want to be sort of lay in one spot and him not enough room, so that's going to be perfect for us. We'll just stack it up with some pillows and some cushions and a backrest and we'll be able to sit here and look at the view. We're pretty close to the airport, so that's why you can hear the planes going over top. Why? Because when you're anchored into the Southeastly trade winds and the sun sets in the west, the cockpit at the back is really, really hot. So, sitting out here on the front is in the wind and in the shade, so it's absolutely beautiful. So, this has got great cover here, great shade, because that's one of my requirements was that I didn't want to end up a frizzled up old prune from too much sun exposure. So, there you go. So, how good is that? Darling, please fetch me my champagne. Will you be a good pet? <laughs> As you wish. Where was I? When we're sitting on the boat, deciding to buy it. I was about here, wasn't I? Yep. And, I went. and look! Drinks! And breakfast! <laughs> So yeah, we're going to be hanging out here a lot. And for all you, you guys that are coming to visit us, we will share our spot with you. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. <laughs> we won't hog it all the time. So come up here. This is on the bow or on the front deck. Now you guys are going to have, those that aren't sailors, are going to have to learn the sailing lingo. So you know what we're talking about when you come to crew. Okay, so look how beautiful this is. And so that's the front bow. So there's like on either side of the bow are two little uh, spotters chairs. So I can't straddle the the, the hulls like anymore I like I used to do in the Albadash. But um, I've come up in the style. world, so I can I can sit on those little chairs there and watch the dolphins. So that'll be super cool. Okay. So the other cool thing about this boat is that it has flat wide decks so it's really safe and the uh, the hatches are recessed a bit so you can't trip over them or stub your your toes or anything like that so that's pretty amazing now going down these back steps here they're really wide so there's plenty of room for me to sit here and watch the, the sea just like I would if I was sitting out watching the rocks. Oh, that's where the dolphins were yesterday when we came down. So, and of course, introduction to the dive platform. So this dive platform here was a really big feature that I love. This platform doesn't just go down, it goes down and out so that you can drive your dinghy up and onto this under the water so the water sits below the water so this is going to be amazing which means that you can actually lie in the water nice and safe because you're only in about that much water you can sit here and lie here and la, 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 la. whatever you like so i'm really excited about the dive platform and this is where we'll be holding our scuba tanks so scuba so we'll have our couple of scuba tanks in here and they'll be at the back all the time for good, easy access. And we'll have our own um, compressor on board so we'll be able to fill up our tanks whenever we want to go for a dive. The other really cool thing is that this seat converts. So if you want to sit this side, you put the seat, the backrest this side, and if you want to sit here, A wonders of modern science. I know. Very cool. Oh, this is such a good spot. I'm gonna. I'll be spending a lot of time in this spot. He's spending a lot of time in lots of spots. All the spots. spots. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a common thing I've said. Thing I've said. But, oh, I love this spot. I do love this spot. Yes. John's trying to work out where I can best do pole dancing this week, making sure he I can exercise. <laughs> so here is our beautiful Ultra Dash, back cockpit, plenty of room, it takes about 10 people, so we need that because uh, you don't want to be cramping each other's style when you're trying to relax out here on the deck. Let's go inside, I'll show you inside. 
I wish you could feel it because the air conditioning's been on and it's absolutely beautiful. It's nice and cool. Ooh, look who we have here. It's the man of my dreams on the boat of my dreams. Lucky girl. <laughs> so you can see it's really spacious. Plenty of window shade because we've got the shades on all of those areas there are shaded. We'll take plenty of other pictures later. But I just wanted to do a quick little spin. The table here converts down into another bed, not that you need too many more, but it does and it extends out. So it becomes from a coffee table, then it becomes a dining table, and then spins. Look at that. Isn't that just the moisty? But this is where we're going to have movie nights. So when we're on watch, Movie nice. Well, who knows? I've oh, seen. TV's yeah, there's a the TV there, you see. So. That's what you're talking about. Bit of popcorn, <laughs> flatten that down into a nice little bed, and there we go. Bit of Netflix and movie night. Oh, there's a shade here. I've still got the, still got the covering on it before I pull it new. That is a, a window. So in the daytime, if you want to have the sun, you can open it up. But you can actually see the sails while you're inside if you're just checking on your crew. So that's really important as a sailor, to be able to see the sails while you're inside. So nice. That's very civilised. Freeze on. Freeze on. <laughs> and show me your boudoir, madame. to the ensuite but it's a really spacious cabin plenty of windows all the way around and the really cool thing is we spend a lot of time in bed um, as I'm sure a lot of people do but um, we love nothing better than to have a cup of tea and just relax and spend some holiday time in bed we like to sit up in bed and with what you can do is sit up and there's plenty of headroom so you can see outside and see what's happening outside so normally you'd be at an island or an anchorage or beautiful scenery so yeah that's going to be really cool look at this bed but heaps of room bigger than a queen size bed apart from these corners that are cut off but not as big as a king bed but you don't want it that big anyway have trouble finding him at the best of times so in bed but it's very roomy and look at the space did it live up to all your expectations oh, it's just Wanted right now. <laughs> I don't want to wait any longer. Tomorrow we go for the demo sale. Okay, not exactly a shakedown. Shakedown cruise when we take it out. Demo. Demo sale. Then we do the handover a week later after it's all cleaned up, and then we take it for the shakedown cruise for six months. Okay. Come away! <laughs> there is always it's like a sun shape, but it's also got insect. Insect screens. So that's great. And they're all obviously spring loaded. And these magnets to hold on to each other. They're not incredible. Love it. What do you got there? Oh, it's actually a vanity or a little desk, whatever you want, honey. Oh, it's spring loaded, look at that. Will I have to arm wrestle you for the desk or a duchess? You can have a duchess if you want. <laughs> Now you're into girls. <laughs> Cupboards hang hanging cupboards. space. And into here is our ensuite. Ah, see the toilet's up there. That's toilet mm. paper. That's an interesting good idea. bilges which is where if you get water into your boat all the water goes down they see there's pumps that will pump it out but that's such a big space it's clever it's got a little 
thing that makes you put it in the right way around. A little square cutaway. Ooh. So they're really thought of all those little extras that are really important when you're either on passage as a sailor or you're at an anchorage and or you're making this boat actually your home, which is what we'll be doing quite a few years on and off. So there you go. That's a little tour. Now there's another three bedrooms apart from our bedroom which um, they're quite similar, but not as big as ours. Now down here is the VIP cabin, which we have a few friends fighting over at the moment. And it's gorgeous. It's lovely and big. Again, it's, it's bigger than a queen size and it just has the corners cut off here. So that's what you do with boats. Great access. So you can walk right round, go up the stairs, up into the bed and the really cool thing is that you can lay back when you're lying in the bed you can see straight out the window out the window so a room with a view very cool and there's these are blinds as well so they come down as well but the, it's great to have a bed where you don't have it's not up against the wall cuz it's really, they're really hard to make and then this is the ensuite for this VIP cabin a little shower, bathroom. Which way to go? This way to this cabin? Or this way to this cabin? I present you with Madam. Washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how awesome this is going to be on the boat, honey. You have, you really have no idea how much this means. It's a washer and a dryer. And we have spent a lot of time going to laundrettes Pumping. over the years. Pumping, piling up all the dirty, disgusting, sweaty clothes in a pile for maybe days and days on end, those that you can't sort of hand wash, and then finding where the laundromat is and then having to hump big bags of laundry that if it's raining or it's, you know, been wet, you've got sticky, salty, wet towels that you've got to hump or sheets that you've got to hump because when you're sailing everything gets salty and the salt just absorbs the moisture and it's it's not very comfortable it's not very nice so, so. having a washing machine on board is going to solve all my woes <laughs> <sighs> if only life was always that simple <laughs> so this bathroom is a little different than the other ones on the side here, like this. It's got a nice little room for you. The aircon behind is making a noise. Somebody else that's having a look around the boat at the moment that Bob's taken around the boat and he says, and you've got pop-up lights and John says, we got pop-up <laughs> lights. And you've got the Sterling power regulations that are really did I? we? <laughs> That's nice. We don't really know what we've got at the moment. So. Well, yeah, it, 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 the, the package we got came um, a standard, so I must say I didn't, a lot of the bits I didn't take, uh, think about too much because it was part of the standard package. So, so and uh, I mean, all three winches up there are electric, which I must say I didn't think we'd order extra winches, but apparently we, apparently we did. <laughs> That's good, it's there. You can't ask for any extra money, so it's all good. Happy days! <laughs> and they've thrown in a few extra cushions because um, they were supplied for the boat show. And the boat show's not going ahead. Well, the boat's not going ahead, so... But we keep the cushions! <laughs> good deal! And uh, for yoga, it's actually quite handy. Yeah.
enjoyed this episode and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe and ding the dong so you don't miss your next fix. It really does help us out a lot. In the next episode, we will be starting the exciting fit out and aftermarket work. So kick off your shoes and come barefoot with us.